Ah, I got you good, didn't I? It may have seemed like the real Captain Sparkles logged into my server. Psych, I lied. What actually happened is I forged his identity using the slash tell raw command to make me seem super cool and popular. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? With this one command, you can spruce up your maps, make mini-games, mess with your friends, or add literally whatever you want to the chat. My last video on this command is, uh, a little outdated, so I figured I'd make another tutorial on it because it's so useful. If you don't want to learn how to actually use the command and just want to put anything into the chat box, in the description I've linked a generator so you can just go to the website, type in whatever you want, and then put that into the Minecraft chat. Okay, let's get started. We'll start by doing slash tell raw in the chat or in the command block, whatever you're working with. Then set the targets of the command. This can be at A, at P, at R, at S. If you want to learn more about targeting, I'll drop a link in the description that explains what each one does specifically. But in general, at S is whichever player executed it, at P is the closest player, at A is all players, and at E is every entity. Every pig, chicken, and a lay in the world doesn't need to see your message, so let's just do at A to select all the players. Next, type an open curly bracket followed by a quotation mark and then text. Right after that, close the quotation marks, put a colon, and then open another set of quotation marks. And this is where you'll type the message that you want displayed in chat. So in my case, I'll just write, the cars outside my house are getting really annoying and making it hard to Example message. Now we can just go ahead and close the curly brackets, then press enter. As you can see when the command runs, the text that you typed in the tell raw command shows up directly in chat. And that's great, but this is just so boring. Let's modify that. There's a bunch of different options that you can use to customize your text. You can change it into different colors, you can make it bold, italic, underlined, you can make it have a strike through, you can make it obfus ob obfuscated? I don't even know what that means. Why is this a thing? Inside your curly brackets, but right after your end quotations, add a comma, then add more quotations. Inside these, we'll put color, then another colon, then more quotations, then the color that you want the text to be. Here's a list of all the default colors you can select from. If you want something really particular, you can also use a hex code. That's one of these weird color picker things. Then we'll add another comma after those quotations. Add even more quotations. Then do bold, for example. Add the colon after that. Then you can set the bold to be either true or false. You don't need quotations around a true or false, you can just leave it out in the open. Don't ask me why. It's something computer science-y related like boolean or string or something like that. And there we go. That looks much better already. By the way, the format for bold is the same for underlining and all that other stuff. Just replace the bold in the quotations with italic or obs- ob God. Now, a wise man once said that with great power comes great responsibility. But I don't think that's wise. And I think he's stupid. I don't think you need to be at all responsible with this power. In fact, I encourage you to actively torment other players with this command. Uh-oh. Now let's say you wanted to have more than one type of formatting in one command, like this. To do that, add square brackets on the outside of the curly brackets. Then you can separate each string of text with a comma and then more curly brackets. Now we can just go ahead and fill these curly brackets out exactly as we did the last ones, just with different colors, different fonts, whatever. If you want to drop the newly formatted text down a couple lines, you can stick a quotations, backward slash, and then N for new line in between the curly brackets. But I'm not done yet! That's still not all that you can do with the slash tell raw command. You can also display selected players' names, display NBT data of entities, show scores, or even display players' keybinds for a certain action. To use the selector, you type, as you might expect, selector, then the colon, then the target. Since I'm the only one on the server, it'll display my name. 
For the scoreboard, type in the score as you would normally do in the quotations, but then after the colon, add another set of curly brackets. And in this, you'll type the name, colon, the target, then a comma, then objective, finally the colon, and then the scoreboard. For the NBT data of an entity, you can type NBT, then the colon, then the data that you want to look at, so I'll put health. Follow that with a comma, then entity, then the colon, then the target. Finally, for the key bind, you can just type key bind, then the colon, then the control that you want to look at. So for example, I'll type key.jump to look at the player's jump key. Yes, my jump key is actually Q. I don't want to talk about it. Apparently, there's also some translation operator you can use, but I'm, I'm not even going to pretend to know how this works. So uh, good luck with that one. The last couple things I want to show you how to do are click event and hover event. With these, you can allow the player to click on the text or hover their mouse over it and it'll do an action. So for example, if I click die, I die. Or you can hover over the text and give more information about what clicking it will actually do. You're gonna die! You're about to die! You're gonna die! For these ones, you'll type either click event or hover event, followed by a colon, and then a new set of curly brackets with action, then the action that you want it to do, then the contents or value. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. F this stuff gets pretty complicated, so I would recommend just using the generator and seeing what code it produces. Like I mentioned throughout the video, the link to the generator is in the description. It'll make your life a lot easier, both in terms of using the command and learning it. And that's pretty much it for the Tell Raw command. What's really cool about everything I just showed you is that all this text you learned applies to a lot of different other commands as well. You can use it for titles, action bars, scoreboards. As long as you keep it in the curly brackets and quotations format, it works. This command is one of my all-time favorites in the game because it's so easy to learn how to use but it's also incredibly powerful and hard to master. So with a little bit of practice, you can do really cool stuff like this. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs>